guys and here welcome back to a new episode of Restart FC, episode 5 now, and start of the episode we're doing some more, I think, of the, uh, the like, s sort of cheaply um, SBCs, I'm not sure what this one, I think this is like playing abroad, the really cheap one, uh, for the Bundesliga, uh, sort of subcategory of it, it's really easy to do, some of them, cost, they, they cost like 2.5k, you get a premium silver player pack, and sometimes you can pack the silver players worth a decent amount of coins, um, a lot of the time, you pack garbage like uh, like that, you know, he's not really worth anything. Uh, good old Feelander from Panathinaikos. But you see that that Portuguese player could be worth something. But it's um, sort of gone down a bit now in, um, I guess, validity because um, a lot of the Portuguese players are indeed very cheap now. Um, especially this guy. I think I checked his price with like 700 coins, something like that. Yeah, 250, um, 400 there. Not really worth selling at all. And then, uh, yeah, it just helps, you know, we got them in there in case it's like a flash SBC or something, you know, because eventually one of the players come in use. So, I mean, people say it, like, sort of with no meaning to it, as if, you know, like, maybe one day they'll get an SBC. But I think every team in FIFA, or every league in FIFA so far, has had some part in SBC at some point. Whether it be marking matchups, or it be like a league one, whether it be the Tim Cahill one that happened a few months ago, uh, that, that uh, Janssen one, the Danish player, you know, all sorts of players can take part in uh, SBCs and they all suddenly shoot up in value and you've got to have some on hand to be able to use. Anyway, back in the Foot Champions gameplay, uh, still week one obviously, this is, I'm um, actually finished second week now and um, I don't know if to spoil it or not but we did reach our target and we played exceptionally well for large parts of the next one and um, I felt we did well in this one as well. Especially, we always get off to, I always can't start Foot Champions but I think I may have said this last episode, I'm absolutely a shite at starting foot champions. I always go on like a four game losing streak or one and four or two and four. I've only had ever one good start to foot champions and I got gold one that week. Um, I've, I've had a shit start and got gold one as well. But I believe if I'd had more time I would have been able to get gold one on this account. I had like, I don't know how many games I've like, I was, I, I had completed gold, f um, I had completed the uh, one I wanted to get and I had 12 games left. Uh, or like 14, maybe 12 games left, I think. 12 or 13 games left, I can't really remember. Uh, which is decent, you know, because you still can have a decent crack at getting a higher one. It might have even been more games than that, I'm not, I really can't remember. But I wish I had more time to at least get um, the next rank or something, or the next couple of ranks. Because we could have been in for a sound finish. Um, and if you haven't seen those leaked things, uh, they've been leaking all over Twitter and like Reddit and YouTube. Um, EA accidentally released like a screenshot of you know like where you have the team of the week running on the bottom of the menus in FIFA. They accidentally released that. I'm not sure how legit it is, but um, it showed like it looked pretty legit, and it showed uh, three team of season players that um, that would be in packs, and it said starting like April tw and it's always been rumored that it's starting April 29th. So um, yeah, that's a sad. That's this Saturday as well, which I think is the day after. The um the thing the thing is go out packs. So I don't know why this bit's so glitchy. Um, sorry about that, but sometimes the recording does go a bit funny. Uh, I remember a lot of my old videos it used to go to absolutely to pot because uh, the laptop was slow. But sometimes it does it on this the old guy playing up or and whatnot. You know, uh, thus far I don't think any of the other gameplays messed up. Um, the game the actual um game seemed to be fine. I don't really look at this stuff. I just because it's just all one segment that doesn't need editing. Anyway. Yeah, so one of the players was Wijnaldum, um, if you don't know, most consistent Wijnaldum, which seems fair enough. He has been pretty decent with the ball this season, scoring a couple of goals, but um, it showed him as a left mid when I know in large part uh, from the game so watched, he certainly hasn't been playing at left mid. He's playing some sort of centre mid cam role, which would be a lot more interesting because he would have quite high defence as well because his normal card has like 56 defence. So it'd be a very good C CM to use and even a cam. So, yeah, um, he could be one we could look into. We're obviously going to stick with Serie A for a large part of it, but as you'll see, maybe in the next coming episodes, we do indeed drift off a bit from the Serie A. Not with the main team, but with another team, because we need two teams to switch champions, really. Um, I'm struggling with the backup team at the moment, because it's just not really that good. Um, yeah, it's just not too great. And we get Berg in the next pack. I think this, uh, this was, um, I'm not really too sure, these were the all-players packs. Um, this was actually right. I got some players that actually went for coins. This guy didn't. Um, I think that silver Pablo did. Uh, the silver from the the MX did as well. And um, 
yeah, the uh, I think Bonera, the Italian centre back, did. But this is totally frozen out now. And right there, guys, just had a bit of a, I have to edit out that bit of um, frozen pack there because that was that was not really too um, not really too great. Um, I don't really realise it had actually frozen that bad while making the video. But we're going to a seasons match now here against um, against a guy with a solid BPL team. But as it goes, largely in this series, <coughs> excuse me, the divisions are largely the easier of uh, the game modes. Um, I'm really finding divisions really easy. Um, more so than ever, really. I've actually struggled in some of the lower divisions, even playing in the right at the start of the game. But I guess we're in the point now where look, we're playing foot champions, we're developing in skill as well. Because you always reach your best performance, I think, when you've been playing foot champions, because you can learn a lot. Well, some people get worse because, you know, they don't really pick up tips on how to play, how to defend. I've noticed that, particularly in foot champions, over the course of oh, where I'm up to now, we've really developed our defensive. Uh, Defensive, uh, I guess, um, sort of approach to things. So I was shipping a lot of goals in this foot champions, and um, I wasn't scoring many. I was scoring quite a few, but I've learned how to like take chances better and score earlier on in the games. Because, excuse me, the earlier on you score, the more likely your opponent is to quit, and that's what I've learned um, largely through this bit of game, largely through these um, things. Because uh, I've been tuning up in some of the games, and people have just quit. They haven't really, like within 20 minutes it's quick so I think they're on for an onslaught but a lot, a lot of the time if you hold in there you can actually get a result um, you'll see in a few episodes time an actual pretty good comeback for me um, it was um, one of the be it was in the next week in the league after this very good comeback actually um, I got a bit of luck but um, it was definitely the, f the fact that I persevered I think that really helped um, I never thought I was out of the game even though I was down by quite a lot of goals anyway uh, we, we still uh, are playing Wild and Foot Champions, I imagine. Uh, we do indeed win 3-2 there uh, against the... I think we're playing all sides are better than us. We have to sort of realise that. And even though the players might be better than us, um, it does make what what the your, your opponent what your opponent does in the game. Uh, it makes their life a lot easier. I want to show you this goal, though, from Edda. Uh, this won the game in the 90th minute. This was a really tight game. But the way he just danced in and out of the defence, look at this, it was magnificent. It wasn't a highlight game because um, I didn't really, I thought the other game had more goals and I really recorded it. But um, yeah, that was an absolute um, that was an absolute great goal at the end there and I had to show it because I'm not you know you can't miss out on those highlight goals. Anyway, we pick up Quadrado, a very expensive, um, not actually surprisingly cheap player from the Serie A. Didn't expect him to be this cheap. Um, he was like 3.6k I think. Really cheap for a player of his quality. I thought he was going to be like 12k. Um, and I'm not really sure why he's down at 3k. I mean, he's a lot better than that. And he was a lot more expensive last year as well, as I remember. Um, and he was to pick up Icardi here. 84 rated striker to replace Palocci. Who, unfortunately, you know, can't be rocking with a with a, with a bloody um, discard striker up top for the entire weekend league. And I actually plan to use this team, the backup team in the weekend league now, because I can't be asked to start doing divisions, and I'm not getting anywhere in the weekend league if I keep having to play a fitness game every other, every every two games, you know, to just keep the fitness up on the main team. So I decided we just play in the weekend league, and I think no, yeah, in the weekend league, right? And we lose three one the first game, which is part and part of the reason why I decided actually to sell this team in the end of this weekend league. Um, in order to, I guess, develop and get a better backup team, because it's it's really, you know, it's not it's a backup team at the end of the day, and it's the players that are, have been replaced in the main team that haven't really you know, made the cut in order, you know, in the higher in the higher more competitive gameplay, and um, I just really think that it was it was okay for the rest of the remainder of our weekend league because didn't really have a lot more to do, and this was like a sort of tryout weekend league where we were just sort of testing the waters, seeing you know what we could do. And what this team is capable of, and what maybe where it is need to improve as well, because a lot of the time when you're playing the weekend league, it actually brings up the faults in your team a lot. You know, in this one, it was definitely a lot of the defence. Um, as you know, it was it was not the midfield rather. Um, it was there was a, a distinct, I would say, a distinct lack of quality in the entire team. Um, I think I may have shown this goal twice, but um, yeah, he does indeed score to make make it two two. But I think I win in the end and. Um, yeah, uh, we do indeed get the result. Yeah, we win on penalties um, here. I think this, this is the entire penalty shootout. Yeah, um, I think we win on penalties in this one. It was a pretty thrilling game. 
Sky did come back twice uh, from to from us taking a goal lead, but I feel that especially in the weekend lead does actually help you know show areas for improvement. I think um, largely there were good players in every sort of field of the pitch. Uh, Joe Hart was good in goal. Um, I think he was good. Um, Kadira after signing him. Um, Cadrado, I think the front like, line is all right. Al Shirari, though, is really disappointing me. I'm really not. He's really not the player that he was for me when I used him earlier in the year. Um, and Lamina gets his penalty saved there, I think. Alexander steps up, fires, but Hart goes the right way. And um, I think it's up to us to win it with Al Shirari here, ironically. And I think we do need to score. Uh, no, we don't. We miss. <laughs> it just sums him up really. He hasn't really scored as many goals as I wanted him to, and um, it was sort of uh, sort of annoying that he hasn't really managed to uh, capitalise on his um, on his promise. But we are indeed we we've, we've gone from potentially winning the game to actually um, to actually losing it. There, I think that may have just won it uh, that penalty. Um, we but we did we didn't win it at the earliest possible point. We got Nisha though here to add to the defence in B team. Uh, because um, Rossettini, you know, he's still a discard player at the end of the day. And we're going to indeed sign for a bit of profit as well because he's going for like 650 coins. So we're making 200 coins on him, which is always good. We also make a parole though because I want to amend, amend the backup team for a bit because um, I'm not right. I wasn't really feeling it. In the sit, you may be thinking, you know, oh, he's got to be a definite replacement. Um, he's actually been decent for me. I'm actually enjoying the sit at Cam. And um, yeah, I think that he'll he'll turn out to be um, he'll turn out to get some goals. Um, I don't think Sapranar was doing it, especially not in his native camp position. He was playing a centre mid. Um, and yeah, he sells south like 2k right now. I think it's because of marquee matchups. I oh, know he doesn't. He sells with 950. I think actually we actually lost. We do need make a slight bit of money. Not as much as we thought we were. We'll get Asimo him for the CM other CM position. And. Uh, He's just going to add a sort of bit of security and a bit of box boxness uh, in the in the midfield because we haven't really got like a, an out and out defender, and I just feel that his like box box nature, the same with Perola really, but uh, Asmo is more renowned for his stamina, while Perola is more renowned for his long shots. I think which that means we get rid of Lamina, but I did enjoy Lamina. I would recommend you pick him up when he's discard again. I imagine he's not discard right now because of the team of the group state team of the knockouts rather. Um, and I, I would recommend you pick him up. He's a very good, cheap player. And especially if you're starting off an Alma team, he can be very worthwhile. We lose 6-3 in that game. Pretty of a humiliating defeat. And we also win another game here against Les, um, their Master FC, or Sniper FC rather. And it does indeed, uh, that does indeed just get another win. But we're sort of losing one and winning one. Uh, not on really consistent form right now. And uh, we do indeed lose another game there against... Uh, Another team, I can't remember the name, but see, it's just not really consistent form that we're, we're having right now, and um, yeah, it's not really too great. But we do indeed enter the last game of the episode, which is going to be showing uh, Quadrado. I didn't realize he had a downgrade card or an upgrade, rather, I think he's, he must have got upgraded because I don't remember him being downgraded. I think he got upgraded because he's played quite well this season for Juventus, and uh, we do indeed keep the ball out here. But what am I doing? Just please, someone please just shoot me. I mean, that was such a stupid mistake to make. And especially in foot champions as well, where the games are so tight and you make stupid mistakes. Like, as we learned in the very first game, where the only goal was a mistake from me, you know, it really did it sort of rub salt in the wounds there. But we do indeed manage to get back in the game. I really felt that I was lucky in this one because I really wasn't in the game for a large part. And then we get a bit of a slice of fortune there with Kadira managing to finish off where the goalkeeper was messing up at the back. Uh, no, someone Kadira, sorry. Um, I think it was um, someone in the B team. Uh, I can't remember who. But we're playing playing with B team actually. Very 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 solid team. Uh, now much better than it was a few a few minutes ago when we didn't buy the upgrade. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty decent. We're actually managing to win a game for once uh, with Parola there winning it in the 53rd minute, and that really was all that happened. But anyway, I want to thank you for watching. A new episode should be out soon.